Hi guys, DK here from CororaCAD. Today I'm going to be taking you through getting started in CororaCAD Kite Designer for Rhino for Windows. If you go through our previous video on how to do an installation of CororaCAD uh, tools for Rhino, you'll know that there is a, uh, a new menu in Rhino, this CororaCAD. It's simply a matter of clicking on Kite and allowing the plugin to load up. This is the, the screen that you'll be presented with on, on first loading. So all of the Corora tools are in this uh, resizable, movable window. Uh, it is recommended with, uh, with CororaCAD to run two monitors if possible. Uh, it's quite good to have the your your Rhino environment on one monitor as a display and the CororaCAD tools on a second monitor. But it is possible to use them on a single display. You'll just find you'll be moving the uh, CororaCAD controls in and out of your view as you work through a design. This is the, the base screen in uh, CororaCAD Kite. Across the top of the screen there are a number of tools. The show 2D MFG we will uh, we will cover later in this video, but uh, a number of these tools are useful just through a, a standard workflow. Uh, the first one simply hides everything uh, on the screen, which can be handy if you're uh, if you have say some reference material in the uh, in your uh, Rhino dis uh, or Rhino document that you're using as a reference to the kite that you're uh, you're currently designing. The wireframe display just toggles between a rendered version of the kite and a wireframe version. This can be particularly useful if you're uh, if you're looking at details that would otherwise be hidden behind um, behind parts of the kite that were rendered. This uh, set of details that are floating beside the kite is called the heads up display. It covers things like the name of the kite, its flat square area, projected area, um, aspect ratio, all, all of the uh, information you can see here. You can toggle this on and off along with all of the bridle information using this control. Now, any time you do a change in in CororaCAD, and say we change the size of this kite to 11 square meters, the, the kite will get recalculated, but it'll the display will be zoomed to put the complete view, uh, or everything that's in the screen, uh, will be displayed as large a size as possible. It is this auto zoom control. Sometimes when you're working on particular details, uh, you might want to disable the auto zoom just to, uh, to be able to see back to back changes. And that's what this control allows. And then we have an undo button. Uh, this is currently uh, 10 steps back maximum, but uh, you're able to undo changes as required. We've got nothing to uh, nothing to undo at this stage. So that's the the sort of uh, the controls over our uh, um, over our environment that we're uh, or our our design environment. We can now dive into some of the controls used to actually design the kite. Uh, this uh, we have a each of these are under uh, these different tabs. So we're currently in the size tab. Uh, we have profiles, the shape of the kite, panels, etc, bridle, which you can click through each of these in turn. And in future videos we'll go through more of these uh, more of these controls and uh, to much greater depth. Fairly common in uh, for all of these controls is you you have a text-based input. So 
And for this particular kite, if we wanted to uh, rename it, save it here, once you've put in the, the new text, uh, you've got the option of either clicking this button to the right of that, uh, to the right of the text input, or this OK button. If you put in a number of different changes, you can everything above one of these OKs will get uh, will get updated in, in one click. So you have the ability to here to name the kite, set the the target area, and also the target aspect ratio. Now with uh, with CororaCAD, these are and the way the, the kite is calculated, these are targets, and depending on what you do with the uh, with other parts of the kite, this can uh, this can change the both the the calculated area and the calculated aspect ratio. Um, one of the common things here is if we say go to panels and we look at actually we go to shape is what I was looking for and the trailing edge scallop which is this is the control that uh, uh, trims away material between the struts on the uh, trailing edge if we were to say increase this number say to six and now we've got a deeper scallop in the trailing edge our canopy area has dropped from 11 square meters to 10.83 square meters due to the extra material being cut away from the trailing edge We can go back to our size input and we have this control called normalize area and aspect ratio. So if we look at our flat aspect ratio has actually gone up slightly because we've reduced our area. This normalize button allows CororaCAD to recalculate the, the flat surface area and aspect ratio of the kite to try and uh, reach our target of 11 and 4.5. So we'll press that once. And we're almost at the 11. We're, we just have a little error, uh, error left. If I turn off my auto zoom here and click again. So the kite's now been normalized back to our target of 11 square meters and 4.5 uh, aspect ratio. It's a, a common workflow in Corora tools would be to get the kite shape to where you need it, and then towards the end of your uh, 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 towards the end of your design, you'll come back and normalize the area and aspect ratio using this button. So, if we go from there, once we have a kite designed, uh, a design that we uh, we like and we would like to uh, produce the the uh, manufacturing files for we can click on this show 2d mfg and this will take a few seconds to calculate and if we go to our top view zoom out and we can hide our 3d kite these are now all of the panels have been created including seam allowances, panel markings, these are panels, our, our Dacron frame, bladders, the leading edge with uh, strut attachment markings, um, all of our valves have all been created so along with a 2D file, uh, a bridal reference, and a flattened version of the kite, which can be uh, useful for developing, uh, say, the, uh, the graphic elements that you would need to be applied for the kite. So those, uh, those files are looking good. We'd like to now export those into our uh, Rhino environment. We click on Exports. There's a number of things we can do in here. 
Um, firstly, we might like to save our our kite file. So by default, the the kite here is named with a date prefix and the the name of the kite that we uh, that we placed in our in our kite name under the size uh, under the size tab and we can simply press save and that file will be saved to our desktop folder if we wanted to open that uh, that kite file in the future we would select click select kite file and here is that uh, that save file in our desktop folder and you can search through um, find any previous uh, any previous kite sa uh, saved kite file can be opened here so the very bottom of this page is the export design file to Rhino button. If we press that, now you'll need to be online for this to check your uh, for a valid license for Corora CAD. But uh, assuming it finds a valid license, it will now export the design uh, all of those flat design files into your Rhino environment. So these are now selectable. They are also stacked into uh, every uh, type of line in this file is uh, placed under its own um, layer in your Rhino file. So from here, it's you, simply a matter of uh, of checking it, and then you can export to say a DXF or or PDF file, depending on uh, on what your what your factory or or prototype. Uh, supplier uh, needs from you. So it's also possible at this stage to click this check save Rhino file with same details and if you press save file here that will actually save your Rhino file if you look at the top of the screen here with the same name as your kite file to the same location so to your desktop. So that is uh, is pretty much the how to get started with uh, Corora CAD uh, kite design tool for Rhino. If you have any questions, you can either leave them in the comments or uh, send an email to uh, CororaCAD at gmail.com. Thank you very much for your time.